Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Construct 2 tutorial. Last lesson we got up to uh, slowing down the time between the bullet shots so you can't shoot six bullets in a row. And we also uh, got up to uh, being able to destroy the meteoroid by shooting it. And now we got nothing to do in our game because there are no more meteoroids. So let's talk about how to uh, how to generate more meteoroids okay so let's go to the event sheet and what I'm going to do is right click on the top where it says global number and I'm gonna add another variable okay and this variable is going to store the amount of time that it takes to generate another meteoroid so I'm gonna call it media Uh, uh, meteoroid res respawn. Respawn. Let me see if I spelt it right. Yes, I think so. Okay, meteoroid respawn, and I want to make the initial value five. Okay, and click OK. So, what does this variable do? Basically, it stores uh. The amount of time it takes between each meteoroid to pop up. Okay, now we're going to create a system event. So add event and let's go to system. So basically when you can't think of which object generates the event, it's probably in the system object. Okay, so the system event is uh, every few seconds. So go down to every X amount of seconds how many seconds well we've specified the number of seconds in the meteoroid respawn global variable so just look for that okay, and you can see after I type MET it showed up so click that and click done so the event is every this number of seconds we want to we want to add an action, we want to create another object. So go to the system object again because the system object is in charge of creating other objects. So uh, find create object under general and we're going to create another meteoroid inside the layer gameplay. So put quotation marks around gameplay and where are we going to create it? We're going to create it in a random position. So random bracket. Uh, the range is going to be the width of the screen. So the random function creates a random number between 0 and whatever you specify here. So we're going to go to the system object and look for the the property layout uh, width layout width so let's look for that layout width so width of the current layout so double click that and it shows up let's put that inside the bracket so it generates a random number between 0 and layout width and we're going to also generate a random number between 0 and the layout layout height okay so if you click done now it's gonna happen is every five seconds it's gonna generate another meteoroid so let's see if that happens one two three four five one two three four five right so the number of meteoroids keep generating and we can also shoot them down with uh, bullets shoot them down with bullets uh, however we can see a problem already and that is the meteoroids that are generated right they're always moving horizontally so that is a little bit boring so we want to change that 
Okay, we want it so that when the meteoroid is generated, so we're going to add another action here, and we're going to set the meteoroid, set the angle of motion to a random angle between 0 and 360. Alright, so let's run that. And hopefully, every 5 seconds, the meteoroid that comes up moves in a different angle. Right, which makes it a little bit different. All right, so you can see the meteoroid are bouncing around in different angles now. Okay, so now what I want to do is a couple of things. Okay, number one, you can see here right now I'm invincible. Right, I never get killed by the meteoroid. I never get killed by the meteoroid. So really, this game is not fun at all because I don't die. So I want to create another event so that when the enemy hits me, I destroy. So go to add event. When the bullet collides with uh, myself, okay, when the bullet collides with the player, when the bullet collides with the player, I add an action, and I, oh, why did I say bullet? Right click, replace condition. When the media collides with the plane, when the media collides with the plane, the plane destroys. The plane destroys. Where is the destroy button? Here it is. Okay, so now if I run the game, okay, I have to be really careful now because once I, once I touch a meteoroid, I'm out of it. All right. So if I touch that, I'm gone. I'm gone, and there's nothing more I can do because I haven't programmed in anything after that. And you can see here that. The meteoroids are still regenerating non-stop. So that is also a little bit of a problem. Okay, and we're talking we'll talk about how to fix these issues in the next lesson. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.